Hi guys and welcome to this episode of Fishy Angler. Uh, recently I have replaced my Garmin uh, 5 inch fish finder with this Lorenz 12 inch uh, Elite Series. So my 5 inch Garmin uh, used to have quick detachment uh, mount and uh, but this new one it has kind of permanent not the permanent but you can unscrew and remove it but you have to go back uh, behind the unit and unscrew you know all the connections and um, since I bought it and installed it without that quick disconnect as I could do on my Garmin uh, it was always in the back of my mind that uh, you know somebody may come and steal while I'm not at the boat and um, recently in Facebook I saw a post that uh, one fisherman by the time he uh, moved his trailer back to the parking lot and uh, came back to the boat uh, his unit was gone so that actually what pushed me uh, to buy a graph locks by EFX so this lock will secure your device so nobody can steal it and today we're gonna install it All right, for this installation, what we're gonna need, uh, just hammer and a screwdriver. That's all we need. And of course, the lock itself. Well, the lock, as you can see here, came in the box. It has some instructions and the most important, on this paper you need to have a key code just to save key code because if you lose your key or whatever you need another key this is the code that will actually uh, they can make a copy um, for your keys so and um, the lock usually they sell one um, a single lock for $65 but I mean, you need two locks to put to put it on uh, on your um, fish finder on both sides. So I purchased two, and uh, yeah, it is expensive. It's sixty-five dollars each, but I was thinking, you know, it's worth it to spend this kind of money, uh, and it's going to be much better purchase than uh, losing <laughs> almost thousand dollars worth of uh, electronics so that's how they come so this is two locks that will be installed on both sides and uh, it comes with keys and the keys are actually uh, matched for both locks it's the same key for for both locks and uh, this locks uh, can be installed on a Garmin, on Lorenz, and uh, Hummingbird. So they provide different uh, screws in here for different uh, electronics. So there are some screws, uh, some washers that will be installed. Uh, later we're going to look into that. And uh, also uh, there is a pin for each lock and those pins will be installed in one of these holes and this is just to secure it and uh, I'll show you later this is to secure the lock so it wouldn't be twisting around all right so I also got a piece of wood here a 2x4 and this is just to uh, once we decide which hole our pin goes into it just put it on a on a wood just to knock it knock that pin in that's all all right so let's take a look how this works so we op we take the key we just insert there's a notch we just insert a notch there just turn it and this at this point is like quarter round 
and it just unlocks it and we slide out the base and then the cover that has the lock in so and once we install it then if you want to when you need to lock it you just close it and push the pin in and it's locked so all right so let's install a lock on one of the sides here all right i'm gonna be removing this cowl here so we'll have access better access and this is where we're gonna install it all right so what are we gonna do we're gonna unscrew oops, the factory bolt and uh, that's where our lock is gonna go in like that so and looking at the holes in the back so these holes that pin will protrude and will kind of go inside here into the cut and that's what's gonna hold it from twisting around all right in our case yeah in our case it's gonna be the farthest hole right here i took another look and uh, looks like this hole here will be a better choice for us for uh for this installation so i'm gonna put the pin in and we're just gonna knock it in until we feel it stopped there all right so in this case there's two there's actually four washers here so and depending you know on the installation uh, we may need either one or two washers in the back which goes here and um, in the front we install this white washer here and the screw will go through it just like that all right so let's see well guys I just tried I found the right bolt to screw and I tried to screw it in and so we not bottom out the um, threads over there and the bolt go all the way in so I ended up using two white washers and we're gonna put one black washer in the back and uh, we're gonna screw the lug base in and there you go and this ties the unit to the bracket and uh, it keeps the lock in place so because it's on the washer the lock is moving a little bit but that pin holds it and prevents the lock from spinning around and to lock everything so the lock plate has dovetails so it just slides just like that and you just press the lock and that's it it's locked and unlock it again quarter turn and it just slides out if you need access and to lock it just press the pin and it's locked well guys so as you can see the installation was simple and uh, now I'm gonna sleep better at night knowing that when I launch my boat by myself and I don't have anybody on the boat and I need to drive my trailer out to the parking lot and it may be five ten minutes in some cases so my unit is gonna be secured so and I think yeah I spent hundred and thirty dollars for this but I think it's well worth it than losing hundreds of dollars in uh, your electronics so if you guys in the same boat and if you're thinking uh, to secure your electronics I recommend to buy this like it's simple it works great and don't let them steal your graph <laughs>